Bentornato in Italia, demo numero 3, con me, signor Mr. Sealy P. It's 10 to 6 in the evening. I'm heading up, actually, I'm just trying to think where I can best place this, uh, to the store. As you've just seen, the Massey Ferguson was struggling just a little bit with a full trailer from field two. So, like I said, I have been a little bit busy. We're coming to collect all the stuff we need for the horses that we're going to be collecting, but we're probably not going to collect them until the morning, but we're going to put them on the trailer. I have purchased the Voivo. This was only eight grand, and it's an absolute beauty. I really do like this. Gone for wider tyres. I have gone for this bale grab, the V grab one. I do like that, and some pallet forks. Pallet forks will need over at the farm because we've got a few seed fertiliser pallets and things need moving around. Well, that's quite big for the yard. Forklift sign this end, but then unloading those for the trailer, I'm going to need some forks, so that'll have to be moved over. So as you can see, the money has gone down. I have paid for the invisible silo extension for straw. I haven't collected any loose yet. I still haven't done field 12 or 13. But as far as fields go, our field 1... No, I don't understand that. Oh, I do. I don't understand why now. That's annoying. But it has been cleared. So the barrels off the side of the field... It has been ploughed and prepped. So that's now going to be ready for, I think I'm going to go organic on field one to start off with. At least that way it gives us a few more options. If we decide whatever we put in there, we don't need it to be organic. It doesn't matter, but we can start off that way. So I'm going to put some oil, um, oil seed radish in it, which I don't do very often. Field two harvesting is continuing. And uh, I just thought I'd give you a heads up now as to where I am what I'm doing, I'm going to open up the side of the trailer, I think. Just got to remember which one does what side. Uh, I want to say, no, of course it wouldn't be that one, would it? So that one, there we go. Let's open that up. I'll load up and I'll get some stuff on. I'll do the pallets first and then I'll do the bales later. And I'm going to put all this at the horse stable paddock, ready for collecting the horses in the morning. But I do still need to get a water tanker of some description because we don't have one so haven't decided what one i'm also thinking as well longer term you know as that that list of items gets longer and longer things we want how is that oh, such a bad angle let's drop that down we're going to need to probably get a lorry and another and a larger trailer there are quite a few italian ones knocking around aren't there We'll have a look and see what, what's available. I, I would like to get something that kind of fits well with the area. So I think we'll do that. I've got one of these in each section. Keep it in the middle. We should be alright, although I can't reach, can I? That, that curb is so annoying. Is that going to let me take those out? Right. This is so dicey. Yeah, that's no good, is it? I have to move the trailer over a bit. Well, I suppose what I could do, let's see if I can just give that a bit of a shove with the forks. Just very gently. Don't pierce the bags. Just a little push, maybe on the pallet. We don't underneath again. We have them. So when they're there in the morning, you won't be wondering how they got there. Go on, go on, go on, go on. There we go. because I'm lined up so poorly, that's why.
10 to 7 in the morning rolls around. As you've seen then, I did get the other contract finished on field 2. I also then took on a contract on field 42, which also I completed. Where do we stand with regard to crop at the moment? Well, in the silo we have got now... Well, I say in the silo, we've got two silos. There's one at the farm, there's one over by the uh, railway station. But we've got 82,191 litres of wheat all in. But obviously I can't guarantee the the organic nature of that. Uh, 27,546 of wheat, uh, 16,152 of oats, because the last contract I did was oats, so we had a bit left over after the contract, and then all the other bits of what we were left with before. Now... I was going to collect the straw off of fields 12 and 13 when I harvested those loose. That's why I put the sort of silo extension on the main farm. I ended up bailing them last night. Now, I, I want to say now, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for you know, everything people are saying. It's all very lovely. Thank you. Um, I, had, I didn't say when I came on to do this one that it would be all Italian machinery or equipment. Uh, the trailer I'm using now at the moment, the Trans 100 TC side tipper that's part of a subscriber contract that was offered to me for a week i've got that for a week i probably shouldn't have sold the rice thinking about it because after the week's up i'm going to need a trailer that'll be fine we'll sort that out it is only for a week if you can grin and bear it and as far as the john deere baler went it was one i hadn't used before but i have been looking and there are a couple of galignani ones available and there's a galignani bale wrapper as well so I'm thinking I could do a mix on this one. I might stick with round bales, but I might do some square ones if the opportunity arises. Now these are ones obviously will provide as part of the contract that I'm looking at today. I also need to put cover crop in the ground, and at some point I'm going to need to go and collect the rest of the bales. I think I only did another 15. I did 14 bales off field 1. I've done 15 off the 12 and 13. They're still sitting on the field. So I'll be 29 in total we've got of round Wheat bale, uh, wheat bales, straw bales. Anyway, we need to start up the Voivo. I love that. I started doing some, but with all the different jobs I was doing, I did loads yesterday. When I say loads, I mean like hours of work off camera to get field two done and then moving things around. And I've prepped field one. It has now been ploughed. It suddenly dawned on me I didn't record any footage of me blowing it. Apologies for that. This one up with these ones. There's not a huge amount of room, but this is fairly manoeuvrable actually. A lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'll stick it down there, I guess. This one's done hit my pallets. It says nearly hitting the pallets. Now you notice as well the work I've done so far using the forklift, I haven't used the CSZ pack big bag handler, which is what I normally use. I'm not saying I'm not going to use it in this let's play. <laughs> it's one of my go-to bits of equipment, I just haven't used it yet. So what we've got to do is go and collect the horses from the livestock market. They're there in a trailer waiting to be collected. So while I'm doing this, the contract then is from an old friend. An old friend of the channel. When I say old friend, I don't mean a friend that is old. I mean, been friends for a while. Um, and it's uh, Big Papa C's Heavenly Smoked Hams. If you've watched any of my subscriber contract Let's Plays before, I have done a few different contracts on various different maps for Big Papa C. And it says, Our farming and animal husbandry department have recently gone into horse rearing. We take former racehorses by buying them and turn them into recreational horses pleasure horses for private owners and ranches in the wilderness doing touring businesses. Recently we have had an overabundance of incoming stock. We find ourselves running out of boarding space. We would like to know if you'd be interested in fostering four of our lovely beauties and caring for their well-being and training. Not much is involved, just feeding, making sure they are getting enough protein and roughage, plenty of water and a warm stall to sleep in. Also training involves daily riding and exercise and getting them calm into a social state where they interact with be better with people, their riders and other horses. So let's straighten up a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. And then we will drop that there. Brilliant. 
So does it ever really train the hitch? Maybe I can with the trail with me. I'm not sure. Um, so... Keep in mind these are thoroughbreds needing to be gentled down some and turned into riding stock. So when I'm um, riding them to keep them fit and exercised, hammering along, galloping is probably not the best thing. We need to try and get them used to not doing that. Will this hook up to this? I hope so. Might not, but... No, it's a pity. Uh, am I going to need this? I am, but I'm going to need the pallet forks on this because I've got to put it... I need to move some pallets around in the yard. I got rid of the front loader. I I only leased that the other day. But I'm going to keep all this here because I'm going to need to move some stuff around a little bit. And then I'm thinking bale trailer for getting the other 15 bales. I'm not sure. I'll probably sit those by the side of the field as well. So let's just get that. Um, so, the four I'll be sending you are Chowder, Penelope, Frank and Beat. Frank and Beat, I like that. And it does say, as per their care, we're willing to throw in four bales of hay, three pallets of feed by Quiet Hitman, and straw for bedding, which we've received. Once trained and tamed, we would ask you to deliver them to River Ridge Mountain Tours. Now, we did negotiate over the price, and we, he said he was going to offer me 60% of the bale of the price, and I said that was a bit high. So I think we're just going to split 50-50. They belong to them, they're their horses. I'm just going to look after them for a little bit. And he has sent me the stuff for it as well, so we're all good. Right. So I'm just, I've got some stuff to move in the yard. The harvester is still over at field 42. That needs cleaning. I have bought myself a handheld jet wash cleaning device. And I've also put myself a little toolbox at the main farm. So the money has fluctuated a bit, whereas I've made a little bit on some of the contracts. And we've got a load of crops from those contracts, those in-game contracts. We have spent a little bit here and there, just a few odds and ends. So we have got a bit of working capital. I'm just very conscious of spending it on not frivolous stuff. Nothing's frivolous, obviously, but you know what I mean. So, as you can see, field one is ploughed. Now I'm going to put a cover crop in that because I'm going to have this one organic. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. I've got to go through my organic contracts because I have got a few. As far as what else to put on it, because I can't use anything chemical, I do have a couple of offers for digestate. Um, one I received very recently off the back of somebody watching the last couple of episodes, so thank you for that, for being Johnny on the spot. Um, if I take you up on those, I will, again, like I've just done now, I will talk through the contract and what's offered. I've been offered one by Feldin. Feldin's, I've got a couple of folders with various different contracts in and they're all separated into categories so i know which is which and you know i've got one just labeled up multi slash complicated those are ones that are multi-step that offer various different things it's not just as simple as i need 40,000 liters of oats it's needing multiple different crop types and something else it might be bales it could be you know so i do have a few that are a little bit more complicated and one of the parts of that is it's organic and they've got a load of digestate on hand, uh, Feldcorp, so they can send me digestate. Now, I know that's primarily for that contract, but I'm going to talk to Feldcorp and see if we can work out a deal where I can buy digestate from them, because I haven't got any at the moment, and I want to do organic stuff, because I've been offered some contracts on organic, so I want to do some organic. So I'm wondering whether or not we can work out a deal where I can just I can get some more digestate from them. Because one of my other contracts I've got is somebody wants digestate. So they were asking if I could do a load of silage and provide them with digestate. So that'll be something that'll be I'll be doing further down the line. I'm gonna move those fertilizer pallets out as well. I just want to get them all to a point where I can get to them easily. I know at the moment I'm just kind of lining everything up along the side of the field, which isn't great. I've also been tipped a wink that there's a buy point. Um, otherwise, this series will be sponsored by CNS Modding and Marie, as you can imagine. <laughs> uh, but I've got to find it. I've been told there is a buy point. And I'm just trying to think where there's a buy point for seed, fertilizer, and lime. And apparently I drove past it. 
just trying to rack my brains to think, where did I drive past? Oh, hang on, was it over here? There might be one. Of, I'm trying to think when I did the map tour. There might be one over there, but I'm not sure if you have to buy the land for that to be available. I can go and check it out. Because as it stands at the moment, we do have in the local vicinity a CNS Anne Marie outlet has been provided as part of the contract offers. We do have one available should we wish to use it. Dirt cheap, very handy. Anyway, right, I've waffled enough. I need to get those horses. Once the horses are in, settled, fed, obviously I'm going to need to exercise them today. But I also need to um, I need to get this cover crop in the ground. I probably should have done it last night. Then it would have been ready for just cultivating in today. That's something I don't have a cultivator. So I'm going to see if I can find myself a cheap cultivator with a nice width. Low horsepower requirement. We should be good to go. There we go. It actually works a lot better than I thought it was going to be. See, look, I'm using forks. Who knew? Pallets and things are all moved. The Voivo is back over by the horse pen. So what we're going to do now is go to the livestock market, grab the trailer. There should be four horses in it, if I can steer. Let's take them back, get them fed. I need to get a water tanker. Now, I, a lot of people were saying, because I was ha holding out for a particular baler, and I wasn't sure if I was going to go round or square. I think I'm going to go with the Galignani. I'm going to stick with round bales. I was going to go square baler, but I'm, I'm going to use that on, the, on a different Let's Play, I think. When that Let's Play is going to start, I'm not too sure. I know people have been asking me that as well. We have four, we have four horses. We're good to go now. I'm just trying to think, can I go that way? Or is that one way? I know, I mean, to be honest with you, there's one way signs. I said that when I was on the scooter. I could, I could go whichever way I want, really, I suppose. I could ignore the one way signs, but that would be a little bit naughty. Can I go through? Yeah. Although, no, I'm going to end up going way up my way, aren't I? No right turn. Yeah, this is a mistake. <laughs> a definite mistake. Now, while I'm doing this, now's probably a good time to talk about, about YouTube. <laughs> Oh boy, am I having some problems. I'm not sure when this will post. I'm hopefully I'm finish, finishing off recording this on Thursday. I started recording this on Wednesday. For some reason, I've had, I've had weeks, I've had days where I have been posting three videos a day. If there have been map tools, mod reviews, let's plays, FS22 information released. I've had some weeks where I've posted three videos every single day. Now, for some reason, I'm not quite sure what is happening. When I went to post the last episode of this the other day, it was midday, I posted it, and it rendered, and then it said um, processing HD version. Now, I don't ever put it live until the HD version is processed, because otherwise you know, the quality is not there, and people will then say the quality is awful, so I wait for the HD. Now it's sat saying processing HD version from midday through to about half past ten that night. I kept checking it, kept checking it. Nope. Finally it processed. Don't know why it took so long. Absolutely horrendous. So, following day I started recording this. Uh, then they dropped mods, included a map, did the mod review, posted that. No problems whatsoever. Did the map tour for the new map by Kaz64, posted that. Now that rendered and processed to HD, but it then said, um, checking, what was it doing? It does the checks to make sure there's no bad language or anything dodgy in it, that kind of thing. Um, until those checks are complete, you can't post a video, or at least you can't monetize a video. Um, so it sat checking and checking and checking I kept checking up to about 11pm still checking so I had to leave it 
we got up this morning and it finally finished doing its checks. It took 16 hours to run its checks. So at the moment, rather than posting three videos a day, I'm lucky if I can post one without YouTube slowing down the entire process. Now, obviously, I'm assuming mods will drop today. It's a Thursday. If Giants are going to drop information about FS22, often that is a Thursday. However, yesterday, they started the new fact sheets. So when the new game's coming out, and often, you know, when I when some of the add-ons were, were being done. Actually, you know what I can do with doing is going that way. Oh, I'll get there. I'll get there. It gives me a chance to chat on it. They do the fact sheets. So it's usually fact sheet Friday. So it said fact sheet Fridays have returned. And they posted the first four on a Wednesday. <laughs> Just to catch us all out. So I did the video for the first four of those. Also yesterday. Nothing wouldn't post <laughs> so hopefully that's going to post this morning I'm recording this bit at 10.09 so hopefully the fact sheet video will, will post hopefully I'll finish this video we'll sort the horses out then I'm going to get the cover crop in on field one um, and yes it's weird episode one did very well episode two not so well it may not be everyone's cup of tea, and that's fair enough, I get that. Um, I'm trying not to swamp each episode with too many subscriber contracts. It may mean, now I always say this, it may mean the episodes are shorter. <laughs> you know, right, whatever. Um, but I, hopefully, I don't want to get it too confusing. It is going to get confusing as we move on. I might have multiple contracts on the go. And I know the first couple of episodes I spent doing a lot of in-game contracts too. I'm just trying to build my money up and get some crop and product in storage so yeah I mean if that's not what people want to watch can't do much about that I'm, I'm enjoying playing on here it's, I'm just loving it so yeah like I say if I drop mods and I don't think there's going to be any more maps at all either videos will post as I can get them to post it's difficult because I know people often say about having a schedule and you should really tell people when videos are going to post I was you know that would be great in theory as I've always said, my recording schedule is not fixed because I record and do stuff around a busy household and all the other things I have to do. And now it turns out that as far as posting goes, who knows, you know. I could post something one day, it could take 24 hours before it goes live. I just, you know. What can you do with a situation like that now? I'm just looking at this thinking, I've probably put those bales in the wrong place. So I've got to try and get that trailer into that gap without clipping the bales without hitting that wall which I'm going to do aren't I might have to move those can we go tighter right up against the fence with the tractor as well here nope ok uh, I'm going to have to come in the other way let me just swing around. My intention was to come in from this way anyway, but I obviously just missed the turning. <laughs> ha ha ha. All those good things. Right. Now, moments like this is where, you know, generally speaking, you would cut and say, I'll see you in a minute when this is done. I know some people always... Some people always... Some people will comment to say, oh, you should have shown it, you know. We wanted to see how you actually solved the problem in the end, because, you know, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, then all of a sudden you've done it. How did you do it? So, you know. Yeah, coming from this angle, I've got more room to manoeuvre. Still very tight, though. The wall. This is it's a very tight... Um, map I guess is this oh, hang on there. just trying to force it down. It's a lease trailer, I'm not that bothered. Come on. Nope. It's that wheel, I keep catching that wheel. I'm watching the back, not the front. That is almost there. 
Yeah, it's just brute force and ignorance now, isn't it? Loads of martial, no art. I'm not sure what way the gate opens either. Oh, we can put them in. I've got to change the names of those. Right, they are in. <laughs> Our four horses for Big Popper C are in. I'm just going to ride the fence a little bit now. I haven't got a water tank, I need to go and get that. Um, there was a new mod dropped from VSR Modding Sir with a tank out. I'm not sure if the scale might be a little bit off. Not off. The scale's fine, but it might be a bit too big a tanker for what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do now is just sort out the, uh, the names, then we'll get some feed in. Actually, let's get the feed in stuff in now. Bedding. Straw. It does take straw, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, now I know I probably should be using the, uh, the bale thing, that's what it's for. Am I get caught up from? Does that have a collision? No, there we go. I'm assuming... Okay, there is a collision on that. Put them in there. Let's lift over that. There we go. Now this should go. Does this go to the feed trough or is it going? Is there a different location for this here? Might be further over, might it? We're about to find out. Nope, okay. And this is one of those things you find when you do map tours, is you go around and hopefully everything's going to be where you think it is. Maybe it's in the entrance way, it looks like there's straw over there. Maybe it's actually actually in the pasture itself. Doesn't appear to be there. Hmm, that's interesting. Right, well, let's try then. Let's do feed. Feed we can definitely do. <laughs> he says. There are so many different water containers available. I was going to go for a standard in game one. I was looking at larger capacity ones, but also looking at ones I haven't used before. And it's, it's tricky to find, you know, ones you haven't used. Ah, oh, now. Oh. Bear with me. Well, it took all of the hay. 16,000 litres. I think it's going to take all of the oats as well. I do have some oats in storage, but it does mean I'm probably going to need to plant some oats. Because I'm going to need to keep these horses going. I've got another contract for another two horses. That will be my maximum. I'm going to run six and that'll be it. It's going to take a while to feed all of them. Still can't find where the straw goes. I'm a bit puzzled by that. I am wondering, you know, because there's a ladder here, what looks like a hayloft, surely you haven't got to put them up there for it to work. But I can't find a trigger. I've been inside, I've been along the front, I've been around the paddock. Answers on a postcard, if anyone knows <laughs> where the straw goes here. Please let me know, because I, I just have no idea. I've tried on the trough, done on from the side, I've come from the front. I've tried up, I've tried down, I've tried all over the place. So I'm going to put the last of these in, then I'll go and sort out water. And it's back over to fill one. And let's get this cover crop in the ground. Then I need to get bales, but I'll put it off the screen. I need to move all the bales off field 12 and 13. They're going to need to be planted as well. And then I need to look at my option for, like I said, I do have a few options of offers of digest date. So I'm thinking I might have to take somebody up on an offer of their digest date and, or maybe speak to Felding. Uh, and then, because I'm going to need to, if I'm going to do organic fields, I'm going to need something organic to put them. Or manure, if someone's got manure available, that kind of thing. I'm more than willing to trade. I've got quite a lot of wheat at the moment. <laughs> if anyone wants any wheat <laughs> for some manure or some slurry or whatever. 
just let me know. Don't forget, if you are going to submit a contract, or you do have something like that, you're prepared to offer or trade, don't forget to put contract in capital letters so I know that that's what it is when I go through the comments. It's much easier to find them, screen grab and stuff like that. So, that's the horses in. Chowder, Penelope, Frank and Beans are in. I need to put this somewhere, I'm not going to be in the way when I do the water. Let's just put it to the side there. Okay. Water container. Now, options available here for water container. I was looking at... Obviously, there's the standard fare. There's the MKS. Yeah, I'm not, not too... I want something a bit larger. I'm not sure. I didn't install these. I don't know how these have installed. I've got a whole snowpack that's popped up, and I don't recall installing it. Now, I've got that water tray that I used on a few actually but six ashes I think I might go for that one 12,500 for an 18,000 litre it does everything but it will do water I think it might be nice it might I say fit the area but it's looks okay rim colour I might leave the rim colour as it is actually main colour I don't know something a bit different I want to go blue, maybe a pale blue to indicate that it's water to start off with. Lizards, Trelleborg or Michelin. I'm going to stick with lizards, I think. Yeah, 12,800 for 18,000 litre. Let's get it. Right. That needs to go back. Let's go and get some water. That's the point, actually. Water. Do we have a water point at the farm? I'll have to go and check that out too. Right. What I might do then is whiz back. Get on with the uh, putting in of the cover crop. While we're over at the farm, check for water. I'm sure there's a water tank or there could be a fuel tank. There's also an IBC sitting there as well. There could be a water point. If there's not, I'll put a standpipe in. I know a couple of Italian plumbers that can come and help me. Any idea of the names? I'm here at the main farm. Water point is just here. I just checked and I'm getting water from well, somewhere around here. Whichever one of these is, I think it's coming from there, out of that pipe. As far as I can tell, I did say I was going to put a toolbox in. I put the toolbox here, just to the side. And like I said, I've got the portable jet wash. Uh, I wanted to bring the harvester back as well, don't I? I think the Massey might need a bit of bit of TLC. Let's repair that. Now we need to grab the cedar for cover crop. It's not big. We haven't got a front three-point link on the Massey, so it'll be whatever seed we can fit in it. And we've got a little bit of seed here. Yeah, that was it. That's well, wasn't it? I mentioned that earlier, or yesterday's episode, or the last episode, about the point for... Seed and fertiliser. Oh yes, that was over there by F, didn't I? But the person that messaged said it was when I was doing the bales. When I did the first episode, was bales here. I didn't record me doing bales on 12 and 13. So whereabouts? Unless I just meant the pallets that were there. So the pallets I have moved then. Let's put seed in. Switch that over to oil seed radish. Close the cover. Let's put a cover crop in. I, I can't remember the last time we did a cover crop. I'm thinking... No, it can't have been Marwell Manor. Was it really all that way back? Oh, it seems we got a fair old lick. Um, was it really that far back? Marwell Manor? I have extended this field a little bit, although just thinking that now, whilst the plough did work, it's incredibly bumpy along this edge. I probably could have left it. 
when I say extended, it was just the width of the plough. I just went out a little bit further, but I don't think, is it catching the ground? Yeah, it seems to be. Mm. But we are going to, because this will be get cultivated in, I'm going to need a cultivator. That'll be my first fertilising state. Then we actually come to put whatever seed we're going to put in it, that's when we only need to sort of the digestate or manure, whatever it is we're going to use. So we're going to need then a spreader, sprayer, something along those lines. But I'm glad we're getting this in. It needs it to be done. It's bumpy, isn't it? I suppose that's the thing when you're, uh, generally speaking, when you prep a field in real life, if you are going to plough it first, especially if you're going to use a furrow plough, rather than a chisel plough or something along those lines, um, you then use the cultivator to smooth out the seed bed because you want a nice smooth seed bed for seeding. Bumping along over a ploughed field with a cedar, I know there are a lot of um, the direct drills now have a built-in cultivating unit, which is kind of how it works. This hasn't. <laughs> so it's a little bit bumpy. If we follow the lines, we should be a little bit better off, shouldn't we? A little bit. So I'll do the same with this when I've got a few a few circuits done and we're looking okay I'll um I'll get a work on it. We are gonna to need to get bigger seeders and planters or a cedar planter or you know. I'm thinking a six metre or an eight metre. Oh actually I could use oh I used it on the Lemkin Solitaire. I used the twelve eight, didn't I, on six ashes. Standard one is a 12. The 12 8 was a 8 meter. And didn't we just recently get a 12 6? Maybe I could use the 12 6. I do like I, I don't, the Lemkin Solitaire. I don't know what it is about it I like, but it's a nice design. And the tank's probably not a bad size either. So maybe the get a 6 meter. Still going to take me a while, but I don't want to go too big because obviously the land and you know what's here. I'm just trying to think, there aren't. As far as seeders and planters go, there aren't any... I'd have to have a bit of a scour through, actually. Again, scour through the catalogue. I'm just thinking of Italian... Not that everything has to be Italian. I'm pretty sure there are, there are farms and stuff out there in, around Italy that, that use other manufacturers other than Italian manufacturers. But I have found some slurry spreaders. Um, what else have I found? I found a couple of trailers. There's some Crisoni stuff. Uh, what was the other ones I found? Oh, Valzelli. I've got some Valzelli stuff that I could look at. So, yeah, we've got some Galignani, Valzelli, Crisoni. So, if I can, I will try and get Italian stuff. The Amazon is what the start farm had so just kind of made sense to stick with that to start off with and then we can go a little bit bigger I'm just trying to work out and it's a, a, the only slight drawback and it's why I want to do a more sort of spaced out not spaced out as in me spaced out I mean not spread out spread out <laughs> spaced out I'm always spaced out between in-game contracts, subscriber contracts and just general gameplay because I need a way of making money and the in-game contracts are fine but it's just it's a map with fairly small fields so none of them pay out massively and then subscriber contracts a lot of the ones I've been given are trade ones some are, uh, will pay out and none of it's crazy money it's not supposed to be you know when someone says can I have you know, 10,000 litres of oats and I'll pay you a million pounds. Yes. No, that doesn't work, does it? That's, I mean, it does work. <laughs> if someone offered you that in real life, you'd snap around it. But I need a way to make money that I might need to do separate of in-game contracts and subscriber contracts. So it may be the biogas. I have got some biogas contracts available. So maybe I need to do a load of that. Maybe do some big old biogas work and get a bit of money in because I'm if I'm going to buy more equipment larger machinery I'm going to need something aren't I? or I can just tick over like this you know 
I was watching, um, I'm just thinking time-wise, I'm not going to have enough. I'm probably going to overrun again. Um, I've mentioned it before, I watched Simon Reeve. And the latest series of his to pop up is Cornwall in the UK. And he's going around Cornwall. And tourism is considered to be the biggest employer. Going back a while, it was tin, um, tin mining. And what I didn't know, China clay. Cornwall has got the largest China clay quarry mine in the world. And it's worth a fortune, apparently. The price of tin is, has risen and is still rising. So they're looking at reopening tin mines. Um, I've done it again. Uh, what did I start off by saying? I was to say about Simon Reeve, about farming is one of the is still one of the biggest employers, and agriculture accounts for most of the income for the county. I was going to say something. <laughs> oh dear me! Mind. But it was just, it's fascinating stuff to watch. Intriguing and looking at the ways, you know, they're saying about farming and farmers being demonised of late and it has become a bit of a thing. And I know the vegan movement is, is kind of really taking hold and everyone pushing this thing that we should be plant-based by whatever year and that kind of thing. And the thing is, farmers are, have, are and have and made massive strides. Agricultural companies are, and they make out like it's farming is the biggest thing. And when they were doing the episode, they were saying that agriculture accounts for 10% of the greenhouse gas emission, emissions. You think, OK, that, so this whole kind of demonising farmers and blockading, you know, dairies and abattoirs and, and all these things and farmers have got to stop and we should be plant-based and we've got to stop emissions. Who accounts for the 90% then? You know, there's 90% out there that should be looked at and demonised and hassled and harangued. Um, and they were oh, it was about finances, that's what it was, or something about making money. But a lot of the farmers, most UK-based ones as well, are just about scraping by. They're just making enough money to get by. People seem to think they get subsidies and they're earning mega money, and they're just not. The reality of it is, unless it's a big... You know, um, a big setup, more kind of industrialised. Most average farmers do what they do. I mean, from watching Clarkson's farm, I know he went a bit bonkers and he does go a bit bonkers, but it highlighted the fact that you can work all year long, and once you've paid everything, you've paid your bills, you've paid your debts, you've paid your workers, whatever, you might only make a couple of thousand. You know, you just they do it because they love what they do, they're out on the land, and they're providing for a county, a nation, or whatever it might be, there's a lot of pride to it as well, isn't there? So you don't necessarily need to go and make millions. It's like playing this. I could just tick over making enough every now and again just to buy a new bit of equipment, and I may never have very much money in the bank. Maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. I'll give it a bit of a thought. If you haven't watched it and you can find it, check it out. Simon Reeve, Cornwall. It's, it's really fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Right. I'm going to set work off now. I'm going to fill up the water and I'm going to get the water going. We haven't used anywhere near as much as I thought we were going to. So maybe that seed will last to get all the cover crop in. Sorry, waffling again. We are full, 18,000 litres. I'm going to go and put the water in. So my, my only problem now is in the straw, just to sort of work out where that goes. And then we need to do a bit, oh, well, I'll do that off camera, but I need to exercise the horses for today. But, there we go. Water going in. 
2,000 litres. I'll put this to one side somewhere out of the way. We have come to the end of this episode. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for the horse. We have four, potentially six. We'll have another couple coming down the line. I'll probably stick this just over here in the way. Cover crops going in, bales need to be shifted, and then I need to turn my attention to field 12 and 13 to get them prepped because I need to start getting some crops in the ground to fulfill contracts. I need to look at my contracts and see what I've got and what crops I need to do. The problem is some of the contracts are for quite a substantial amount of which I haven't got the fields for yet, but that will build up as well as we make as we make a bit more money. We'll um, hopefully <laughs> hopefully buy more fields and kind of move forward from there. I um, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have Please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.